The concept that speed is relative stems primarily from Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, which fundamentally transformed our understanding of space, time, and motion. In this exploration, we will look at how speed is relative according to classical mechanics and relativity theory, followed by real-world implications. 1. Classical Mechanics and Relative Speed In Newtonian mechanics or classical mechanics, speed is also relative, but it's simpler than in Einstein's theory of relativity. The key principle is that motion and speed depend on the observer's frame of reference. Relative Velocity if the objects are moving relative to each other, their velocity depends on the observer's point of view. For example, if you're in a car moving at 60 km per hour and another car is moving toward you at 60 km per hour, the relative speed between the two cars is 120 km per hour. However, to a passenger in either car, each car is stationary relative to the people inside. Galilean Relativity Named after Galileo, this principle suggests that the laws of motion are the same in any inertial frame of reference. So, no single frame of reference is preferred over another in determining motion. For example, if you're on a train moving at constant velocity, throwing a ball inside behaves the same as it would on solid ground. 2. Einstein's Special Theory of Relativity 1905 Einstein's special relativity expanded on the classical ideas but introduced major changes for very high speeds, specifically speeds approaching the speed of light. The key elements of this theory include speed of light as constant, the speed of light approximately 299,790 to kilometers per second is the same for all observers, regardless of their motion or the motion of the light source. This was a revolutionary idea because it contradicts our everyday experience with relative speeds. Time dilation and length contraction, when an object moves at speeds close to the speed of light, time and space are no longer constant. From the perspective of a stationary observer, a clock moving near the speed of light ticks slower time dilation and the length of objects in the direction of motion shrinks length contraction. This happens because space and time are interlinked in a four-dimensional fabric called space-time. Example, astronauts traveling at a significant fraction of the speed of light would age slower than people on Earth due to time dilation. Relativity of Simultaneity Events that are simultaneous for one observer may not be simultaneous for another if they are in different states of motion. This shows that time is not absolute but depends on the observer's motion. 3. Einstein's General Theory of Relativity 1915 Einstein's general relativity expands on special relativity by incorporating gravity, according to this theory. Gravity is a curvature of spacetime. Massive objects like planets and stars cause spacetime to curve and this curvature influences the motion of other objects. Even light bends around massive objects due to the warping of spacetime. Gravitational waves, general relativity predicted gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by massive accelerating objects like merging black holes. These were directly observed in 2015, confirming the theory. 4. Real World Implications the relativity of speed has practical and observable consequences, particularly in high-speed environments or near strong gravitational fields. GPS systems, global positioning system GPS satellites are an example of how relativity impacts our everyday life. These satellites move fast around the Earth and are farther from the Earth's gravitational field. Due to both time dilation, special relativity, and gravitational time dilation, general relativity. The clocks on the satellites tick slightly faster than clocks on Earth. If these relativistic effects were not accounted for, GPS would become inaccurate by several kilometers each day. Particle accelerators. In particle physics, protons and electrons in particle accelerators move at speeds close to the speed of light. Their masses increase as they accelerate, another consequence of special relativity requiring ever-increasing energy to keep accelerating them. 
This relativistic mass increase is observed experimentally, relativity at everyday speeds. While relativity is most noticeable at speeds approaching the speed of light or an intense gravitational field for everyday speeds and conditions, the effects are negligible. For instance, when you're driving a car or flying in an airplane, Newtonian mechanics provides an excellent approximation of how objects move and interact.